How are you doing? I'm Martin from Garns for Life in Birdland Homestead on this very sunny afternoon. We're going to take a look and see what the chickens have done with uh, the weeds that we have moved them onto. So they've been doing a great job for us. This is only, when was that? Less than a week ago we moved them on here. And look at that. They've gotten rid of nearly all of the grasses. Doing a great job. And of course the kale has been eaten too, and the comfrey, surprisingly. But one thing, one thing I can't understand is why they were eating the old um, horseradish. All the young leaves aren't too spicy. The nettles they did not eat, I wouldn't expect them to. But once they get rid of these grasses here, that's grand. So this garden here is ready to be planted up now. I might just pull up some of those nettles now and just tidy it up a little bit. Raspberries are probably the weediest of them all. You can see here, I didn't even plant these here. So I'm probably gonna pull those up because I don't want raspberries in the whole garden here. By jizz, we have enough raspberries already. The kale has actually grown quite well as well. Look over there. So this area here, basically I've been dumping weeds from this side here, from I pulled from the garden, throw them in here and the chickens can work through them. They'll make sure that they don't come back. Let me just show you here. So here, this is an old patch. So this patch has not been renewed since about a year ago. So we're going to dump a bit of wood chip on top. And here it was particularly mucky. So I've taken out some of that and I'm going to dump wood chips on top of it. Just like here, it's going to be nice to walk on. Well, what are you up to? I'm just going to scrape some stuff there. All right, go ahead. Yeah, the bone. Yeah. Excuse me. We're going to move wood chips today. So it's, it only takes like one wheelbarrow to cover a few meters of a patch, if it's not a very wide patch. So this is a medium patch where you can see here, it definitely gets a bit mucky in the winter time, so we have to dump a bit of wood chips on top. And um, so that's as far as I'm willing to go with the chickens here because some of these plants here, like that Dobbinton kale, is worth too much to me. I don't want the chickens to eat it. So I'm not going to be able to get them to pull up all these weeds on the other side of the fence. I'm going to do those manually. It's not too bad now. We just got to catch the weeds before they start growing now in spring. Look at that. Fantastic job. And the perennials will come back. But hopefully the weeds have taken enough of a battering that they won't come back. Otherwise it'll be easier to pull up. I've definitely slowed them down by moving the chickens here. Unfortunately they also like to eat comfrey. They'll eat anything except for nettles. I'm very happy with that progress now. So who would have thought it was only going to take a week? I thought it would take at least two or three weeks, like I said in the last video. So, you yeah, know, I'm going to just let them take care of any fresh sprouted grass or fresh sprouts that are coming up over there. Probably move them on again to way back to there where all that other grass is. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a bit of grass in the corner of the garden too. I'd like to get rid of it because it always comes back this way and spreads across our no-dig garden spaces. Well, it's been a very, um, there's an airplane. It's been um, definitely a very warm day today. And we can see here, all the flies are out. Take a look at that. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but there is hundreds and hundreds of little flies. Definitely a sign of spring when the temperatures get 
warmer and the insects come out. Good old flies, what would we do without them in the summer? The summer would be perfect without the flies, actually. In the winter time, or in autumn, I'm always happy that the temperatures are going down because the flies don't be annoying me. But luckily we have plenty of lemon balm around, so we can always just um, rub some of that on our cheeks and uh, that keeps the flies away because of the citronella in the leaf. Look at that. That's the Glaskin's perpetual rhubarb. We'll do a tour another day. So just a quick update video on the chickens and uh, don't miss the Thursday night Q&A sessions at 9 p.m. I'll see some of you there. Get your questions ready. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.